Check engine is probably due to uh, intake manifold stuck. For the money, I think the car is fairly decent. It's not mint vehicle here, but this seat is kind of bored out. Back is something sort of decent. Like sometimes these quasi managed indexes, they're really not uh, managed. But what they are, they handle have ripped. Those sort of decent tires. I think it has a uh, RS6 exhaust. Bumper has a crack. Good exhaust. It's not stock. I think it's RS6 uh, exhaust. Needs a good cleaning. It's been sitting. There's a lot of leaves. Trunk is a mess. Like I said, leaves. I'm gonna need to clean this really good to make it smell nice and look nice again. Has good battery in it right now. It can be. An ETF. It'll start every time. Passenger side, this doesn't work, doesn't lock, seats are sort of okay, like I said, needs to be cleaned. Uh, passenger side paint is fairly decent, headlights faded. You can polish them or whatever you want to do with them. Has things and stuff like that, but overall paint is actually fairly nice needs to be waxed and cleaned and brought back to the its glory that's why the price is this way has a newer H2P brakes up front same thing rear pads are 80% or 85% left fronts are same way show you the, what I'm talking about, about the intake. The truck is really not holding. More run smooth, it makes noise due to uh, this intake arm is seized. Uh, this one is working, this one is not, and I think it's part of the rattle here. And that's why check engine light is on too. It affects performance a little bit, but. If you're handy, you can uh, probably just take that intake off and free it up. I think it's a write-up somewhere on, online. You can write it up and uh, read it about it. And you can uh, make those flaps move again. Okay, that's a bad door. That's about it. Okay, that light is due to are you recording. I think we are. That light is due to uh, due to little arm for the headlight range sensor broken off up front. It can be bypassed by blowing fuse, or just gotta fix that little arm. Car drives on its own power. 
shifts fairly smooth. Sounds good. We got it in the drive. I'm not gonna go on the highway. This video is gonna be too long. See the transmission shifts smooth and all the shift points are where they're supposed to be. Uh, we have a neighbor doing a stint here. Hopefully he's not gonna try. Bad bitch me. And same thing. When you fix the intake, it's actually gonna the torque distribution is gonna be better than right now. Because obviously one side is moving, other one is not. And that is sort of important for the engine performance in one of those cars. smooth, stop straight, I look at the brake hoses, they all good, brake lines are good. Be not afraid to take this uh, wherever you want to go with it. Lights are working, like I said, the headlights need to be polished, low beams are kind of not that great and they're not great due to that arm being off too. Yeah. Sounds good, pulls good. Stops good. Tires are not too hot, but they still have thread. They still will probably pass inspection. And like you saw before in the trunk, they have one more. Spare is good, and then you have extra tire. I don't even know why it's there. I only own the car for a few days here plan was to do manual swap in big turbo but I reconsider my actions and I think I'm gonna do that to uh, to uh, A8 I have a 4.2 A8 when I'm with the blow on transmission I think that's where that's what's gonna be the deal to strip that down and make it as a race car wipers on, they make noise, try listen for it. They work, but more is pretty loud. Uh, rear view mirror. 
on the driver's side is cloudy uh, or almost looks like maybe yeah it's just cloudy it's probably the oil he's screwed up in it uh, that's it AC is cold heat is uh, nice heater seats work uh, radio works I'm worried about knees, elbows, my sure back. Enough. It helps to know Spalding Rehabilitation Network is here. Speak is kind of chat a little bit, but across Cape Cod, they help me be at my best, and that makes me feel like not sure which one into a triple, <laughs> but only for a second. Find a Spalding Outpatient Center near you at SpaldingRehab.org/Cape Cod. A member yeah. of Partners Healthcare. And yeah, I think the I think the remote entrance don't work either. You need to figure that out. That's about it.